In this Flutter tutorial, you will learn how to use Google Maps in Flutter with some customization like how to set custom image marker and draw route direction polylines on Google Map. If you want to follow along with me, download the starting project, you will find the link in the description. Let me show you what we have in the starting project. Start with the pubspec.eml. As you can see, we added it for packages. Lauter polyline point allow us to draw a line from source to destination. Google Maps Flutter. This one is a must-have package on Flutter if you want to show the map. Location package for real-time location on Android and iOS. Flutter SBG allow us to use SBG images. Most of those packages need some configuration. The good news is you don't need to do anything except Google Map API key. If you don't know how to get the API key, Check the Google Maps Flutter package. Once you will get the API key, go to constant.dot, replace API key with your key. Also go to Android main face.xml, then replace API key. And for iOS, go to app delegate.swift, same replace API key with your key. Once done with the API key, you will find the stateful order tracking page under the lib directory. There is a Google Map controller with a demo location for source and destination. Let's run it. A simple screen with a center text. Replace body with Google map wizard and set initial camera position to source location. It shows the whole world map. I think now it's much better. Let's add a marker so we can understand the exact location. Define a marker and set the marker ID Let's call it source. Set the marker position to the source location. Perfect. Now we can identify the exact source location. Add another marker for the destination. Copy the source marker, change the ID, call it destination and set the position to the destination. Let's scroll to the left to find the destination marker. Reduce the zoom, then restart the app. Now we can quickly locate both markers. Now what I want to draw a line from source to destination. Scroll to the top, then create a asynchronous function called get poly points. Create an instance of polyline points. There is a method called get route between coordinates, which return the list of polyline points. Call the method it required Google API key, source and destination location. Create a new variable called polyline coordinates, which is an empty list back to our function. Check if the points are not empty. Go through each point and add them to polyline coordinates. We are almost done. Now we can show the route. On init state called get poly points function, back to the Google map wizard, define the polyline and set the polyline ID to route. Pass polyline coordinates to the point. No route is shown. Back to the polyline point function. Once we are done with adding points, call set state. Now restart the app. I am not too fond to the black route color. Let's change it to blue. Also set the width to 6. Now come to the most exciting part. We need the device location. Create a non-able variable called current location. Then a function called get current location. Inside create an instance of location. Once we get the location, set the current location to be equal to the location. On the init state call get current location method. If the current location is null, it shows a loading text. Restart the app and add another marker for the current location. Also change the initial camera position to the current location. Restart the app again. As you can see, the middle one is our current location. If you are on Mac and using iOS simulator, go to feature, hover over location and select free weight drive. Wait 20 to 30 seconds to restart the app. I'm using source and destination location according to this freeway drive. If you are on Windows or using Android simulator, click on the bottom three dots, 
and ensure you are on location. Let's say the source location is Google Plex. Change the source location to this coordinate. If you want, you can save it. The destination location is the Microsoft Silicon Valley campus. Change the destination with this coordinate. Now click on the Routes tab, search for Microsoft Silicon Valley and Google Plex for the starting point. Save the route, set the playback speed, hit play route. The current location is moving, that's what we want. We are moving but there are no changes on the map. Back to the get current location method. On location change, update the current location. Make it visible to the map called set state. In the beginning, there was a controller for Google Map. Need this controller to update the map camera position according to the location change. Inside the get current location method, create a variable called map controller. Once the location change, animate the camera to a new position. I made a mistake, define Google map controller after getting the current location. The loading is gone. The source, destination and current location icon are the same. Define three variables for the source, destination and current location icon. Right now all are default markers, create another function called set custom marker icon. On the assets directory, you will find the custom icons. Thank you so much for watching, check out our premium flutter shop UI kit.